Hi, my name is Jed. Uh, we're currently uh, on lockdown, so I thought I'd come along and show you some of my ships from the Japanese fleet in 1 to 700 scale. So I started uh, from when I was a teenager uh, becoming interested in Japanese warships because I used to visit the library and in the library was a book about the Imperial Japanese fleet and some of the designs of ships really caught my attention and ever since then I've been interested in Japanese warships of World War II so I have a collection at the moment of around 170 ships I the project will be to build the complete uh, World War II fleet of Japan and uh, I brought along today a few ships uh, some of the ships that I've recently made to show you how how they're coming along so here is a selection of cruisers uh, a light a small carrier a hospital ship and a couple of light cruisers and a destroyer and these are some of the, the more favorite designs that attracted me to the Japanese Navy because how unique they, they are and uh, how interesting and enjoyable they became to make as models. So these ships are scaled at 1 to 700 they're made by all of the main uh, manufacturers. You've got a uh, Tamiya uh, Shimakaze there. You've got an Aoshima. Uh, you've got Pit Road. And the, my favorite ones are the Fujimi. You have the Chokai in Fujimi. Um, they're all hand painted. Uh, there's no spraying done on these at all. I have recently began experimenting with weathering and some of them have a different degree of weathering applied to them. The Shimakaze, as you can see, hasn't been weathered at all. Uh, that's how they come when I finished, when I finished painting them. Uh, most of them, depending on the complexity of the kit, take around one week to make. Uh, some, like uh, if they have etching on them, which I have only just started doing recently, but if they have any etching on them, if it's a very ba basic etching, it will add a couple of days to the build. If it's got a full etching to it, then it may take me a month or six weeks to make it, just spending two or three hours of an evening uh, each evening. Um, all the paints that I've used are Tamiya, uh, watercolour paints because I find them much easier to use than an, than an oil based paint and I just play with the results what I've begun doing is applying weathering to them which is variable I can I can apply it and remove it as much as I want during the painting process one of the problems of weathering on this scale is that you can easily over weather something so uh, I've been really, really trying hard to get the weathering look just right.